Hello viewers, this is IT System Admin, a complete troubleshooting solution for you. Today in this tutorial, I am going to show you how to fix synthetic Ethernet port error in Hyper-V. Sometimes it becomes very important to you, so don't forget to watch full video. Okay, now open Hyper-V Manager, right click on your virtual machine and click on connect and now click start. Look, the application encountered an error while attempting to change the state of the machine. You have to find out the problem. The problem is synthetic Ethernet port error. Insufficient system resources exist to complete the request service. Okay, that means the problem is due to the network service. And the next message is fail to allocate resources while connecting to a virtual machine. The Ethernet switch may not exist. That means the Ethernet switch may not exist in your Hyper-V virtual environment. So you have to check your machine Ethernet adapter. Okay, now click on close. Now close the machine. Now right click on the virtual machine and click on settings. Now click on network adapter. Look. There is a error message. The network adapter is configured to switch which no longer exists or a resource port that has been deleted or renamed. Okay, in virtual switch, look, here is a configuration error and click on drop down. Look, there is no virtual switch exists here. Okay, close the settings. Now, in right side, click on Virtual Switch Manager. You can create any of these three types of switch. One external, another one is internal, and another one is private. Private switch for virtual machine to virtual machine communication only. And external switch for virtual machine to virtual machine communication and simultaneously virtual machine to host computer communication and external switch for using internet in virtual machine okay i'm creating external switch select the external and then click on create virtual switch now give a name i'm giving the name ex virtual switch ex for external virtual switch and here external network is selected in the drop down menu you have to select your physical network adapter my physical network adapter is realtalk pcie gbe family controller okay click on here and now my physical network adapter is selected and click on apply click yes the network adapter has been created now click on ok now i have created the physical network adapter now right click on virtual machine click on settings now click on network adapter and in virtual switch click on drop down menu and select your just created virtual switch that is external virtual switch okay select it and now click on apply and click on ok now i am going to run the virtual machine right click on virtual machine click on connect and now click on start click to continue look now my virtual machine is going to start smoothly this is all for today Hope this tutorial is helpful for you. Keep watching for next tutorial. Thank you very much.